Shooting is a struggle for everybody in NBA 2K21 current gen. So, how do we fix this? Well, Mike Lyon could buff the shooting, but I think I have another solution. Let's get our badges and then see if shooting really is trash or if we just need our badges. But here's the thing, I can help y'all with that. I came up with, well I didn't really come up with, I mean it's pretty basic, but I know a lot of you are looking for a good shooting badge method. So I have a badge method that will get you a shooting badge every one to two games. Like, even if you don't get the badge in the first game, it's going to be at basically the end of the shooting badge meter. And it's very easy to do. Anyone can do it. We're about to get right into the method. But first, I stream on Twitch now. So, I might be streaming right now, man. I stream almost every day. You know, in 2K20. I promise daily streams. I broke my promise because I've been grinding my career for these badges. And I know y'all don't want to see me play my career. So, make sure you go in that link down below and hit me with that follow. Who knows, I might even be streaming right now. Also, we are on the road to 6K subscribers. And I would love to hit that by next gen 2K21. So, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on post on notifications so you don't miss an upload. So, without further ado, let's get into the method. So, what you're going to do is go either left corner or left wing like right before the corner call for a pick and just fade in the middle that's all you're doing you're calling for iso and then you go positional play calling get whoever you want set screen i get the center you see me green right there i get the center because he sets the best screens possible make sure you go to a team where you got a big man that sets good picks bam on a bio from the miami heat sets really good screens you saw what i did iso positional play calling. i picked the center to set the screen and you're going to be open 99% of the time. And I say 99 because, you know, sometimes the center will step up. And sometimes the guard will get a lucky contest on you. You'll get a lucky dodge on the screen. But for the most part, this is going to work. And you're going to get open looks all day. And you're going to get a lot of rep from this. Next thing is when you have a fast break, whether it's off a rebound, steal, or block, go for the fade or pull up it doesn't matter how open the lane is you want to go for a moving shot in transition notice how i can dunk this easily but i'm going to the baseline for the easy pull up because we're going for shooting badges here and if your builds like mine you're not going to have many finishing badges i only get three and i know that's going to be no problem and i'm just going to get that naturally so every time i'm on the break I am going for the leaner, no matter what, except for when they're playing like, when they're playing the jump shot, sometimes they will do that. And then you blow by and you get yourself an easy dunk or layup. But when it's wide open, take the moving shot in transition. Next thing, when you get your shot creating take, you're gonna call in isolation, do this hezzy, speed boost, and go baseline for a fade. It will be open almost every time unless you're playing against a really good defender and you're going to have to work a little bit. Now, how do you do this hezzy speed boost? And then if I get 100 likes on this video, I'll drop it. But it's very easy to do. It's an, a very simple move and you get the speed boost and you'll be open a lot. And once you get that shot crane take, do some fading threes if they're open, but don't force them. Shot creating take doesn't make you immune. But basically, when you get takeover, they double team you. So you need to get something quick. Look, here's the double team. But I don't want to waste my takeover, so I'm going to keep calling for it. They keep doubling. And I keep passing, getting it back. Eventually, I just run, get something quick before they double team me again. That's how you get it done. So here are three games. We got 15K in this game. We get a shooting badge. After every game, you're going to get a shooting badge or you're going to be really close to a shooting badge. So at most, every two games, you're going to get a shooting badge. 20 for 24 from moving shots. And you see 4 for 6 from moving 3. Not, not any standing shots at all. Just fades alone. You're going to get lots of my points. In every one to two games, you're going to get a shooting badge. Look, 16K, another shooting badge. I mean, it's that easy. You see, it's just 62 points right there. 
And I didn't shoot good. I missed 15 shots. 27 for 42. And I still got 15K. And I had no moving threes. Yet I was still able to get 15K on shooting. So just imagine if, you know, I was able to knock down standstill threes consistently. And knock down moving threes. Yeah, I didn't even practice dribbling. So once I practice dribbling, you know, it's going to be wraps for the computer. And once I get the same shots down, you know, here's 18K and yet another shooting badge. 81 points for Kobe. I actually could have passed him, but on the second free throw, I actually missed on purpose. And I just didn't shoot again because, you know, I wanted to have exactly 81. And I know I'm going to be able to get over 100 points in a game eventually. But look, 28 for 38 moving shots, 17K. Not too shabby. Up next, when you can choose your own drills, which it takes like eight games, I think, you're going to go down to free throw golf. Free throw golf is by far the easiest drill out of the ones that are so-called hard. So you're going to get the most points out of this in practice. It's labeled as hard, but it's actually really easy. Now, you see me greeting these free throws, but I literally put nothing on my free throw. And, you know... I have a build video out already, so if you want to see my build video, go right on ahead. But I literally didn't upgrade my free throw at all, yet I can green and make whites consistently. The free throw is Kobe Bryant, by the way. Kobe Bryant's always been a great free throw, so if you're having trouble at the line, you know, try Kobe Bryant. And I'll even add on another tip, try to get fouled, because free throws is easy shooting points, man. You saw some free throws in there on my shooting badge totals if you're still with me good job you are really paying attention and you are determined to get your badges and to get better at the game now i am anticipating questions from you guys and i'm going to answer them right now how do i get them to hit the screen well when you set up the screen do some dribble moves like some crosser when you start doing dribble moves they will back up off of you and it will be easier for you to get them to hit the screen so as soon as they back up just you know, get them into the screen and fade. Also, when you get double team, do not force the issue. I know you saw me do it in the Sixers game with Jack creating takeover. I didn't want to waste my takeover, so I was basically determined. But you're going to miss a lot more often than not when you do stuff like that. So don't do it. If they double team you, you want to get playmaking badges too. So just pass the ball to the open teammate. And there's not an open teammate because I know the off ball teammate that's you know, the defender's helping off of. He'll do a dumbass cut in the traffic and make you turn the ball over. I get that. So just keep passing it until, you know, something opens up. But, you know, you want to get your assists and, you know, get your playmaking badges. But I hope this helped you guys out. Hopefully you're getting a shooting badge every game or two. So if you have any more questions, just let me know in the comments. I will answer all your questions. So... Yeah, man, make sure you follow me on Twitch if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Turn on post bell notifications so you don't miss an upload. And, of course, like the video. But, till next time, I am out. Click one of these videos on the end screen. Peace!